morning y'all y buenos dias so we are here with week 22 of my vegan pregnancy update videos so if you guys are interested in seeing the updates and what i've been up to then keep on watching week 22 which means that baby is the size of a coconut finally we're at uh cute things again because y'all artichoke and rhubarb was just not i wasn't having it or was it even rhubarb it was something else whatever <laughs> so baby is almost 11 inches and around 15 ounces so at this point the baby is developing more distinct lips and eyes and like in the positioning so they they're looking a little more human like as opposed to little aliens my weight right now is at 112 my mood, I've just been super excited because by the time y'all are watching this, it'll probably be like way later, but right now it's the first week of the year and uh, New Year's is my favorite time because I just feel like so amped and so ready to put things into place and organize and declutter and stuff like that. We're very, very minimal and um, organized people as it is, but it's just good to have that kind of like fresh start and I like to do that several times throughout the year but this is just the perfect excuse to do that <laughs> so as far as cravings go I've been craving elote loco which is um how do you say that in English corn with mayonnaise but there's a name for it um street corn street corn which is corn with mayo and parmesan cheese and chile on top and i just make it vegan with the vegan versions of everything and y'all I mean, i've eaten so many this week and the week before and it's just so good and i don't know I, it's because my mom came over and she had made some and so ever since then i've been eating it every single day so no aches thankfully but y'all the peeing it's non-stop and it <laughs> literally gets more and more intense every day because I've been super on point with drinking like a lot a lot of water and so I mean really I can't even get through like an episode of the office without having to go to the bathroom several times so as far as sleep goes it's been like I sleep well throughout the night but it's just getting more and more difficult to get comfortable because at this point I can't sleep like on my back anymore like I have to sleep on my side and so just like you know getting cozy is getting a little a little more strenuous is taking a little more work to actually be able to get cozy so as far as what we've been up to uh on wednesday i had my first ultrasound well first and only ultrasound and we were just so excited because baby's looking super healthy and everything is you know growing proportionately and right for the developmental stage so that was a huge relief um we don't uh, do any more than one ultrasound just because we don't find it really necessary unless there were like a medical reason why we would need more. That's the only reason why we would do it. We just want to make sure that the baby's okay. And since the baby is okay, we don't see any reason to continue it. But um, just so excited. Um, our ultrasound technician was really cool and um, he was just super chill and we got to hang out in there and see the head and the little feet and everything like that. We didn't find out um, what the baby's gonna be because we want it to be a surprise the same way with Luna. And so uh, I've gotten that question a lot, a lot. And for me, um, it just really doesn't matter. Um, either way would be really awesome. Um, the only thing is that it would be really great to uh, raise a boy in a way that I find would be like really empowering. You get what I'm saying? Like raise a child, um, raise a man that isn't going to be machista, that is going to stand up for women, that it's going to, you know, all of these things. The same way that I'm raising Luna to be a strong woman, I would want to raise a son who um has those same values you know and to teach them like the same things but obviously in different ways because our society is set up differently and they're treated differently so you know i have to teach luna more so of um you know for her not to be self-conscious about how she looks you know because you don't really have to teach a guy that as much in the same senses obviously there's so much uh nowadays of uh physical appearance with guys as well but either way i would be really really excited it would just be really fun to have a uh, a son because the dynamic that me and my brother have is really awesome like whenever he was born he was like 
mi hermanito like he was like mine and so like i said either way it's gonna be really fun and really exciting but yeah and then we are actually packing up right now because we are heading over to louisiana tonight so we're gonna go we're driving through the night just because it's a little bit easier with luna even though it's tough because we lose a night of sleep basically because it's so hard to get comfortable in the car but uh that means that we'll make it to louisiana a lot earlier than if we left tomorrow morning but i'm really excited just to hang out with everyone again because it's one of the last times that we'll be out there i'm really really hoping that we'll be able to go down for a weekend in february but i'm not too sure if we'll be able to um so this might be the last time that i'm going down before the babies coming around and it's kind of wild to think about because baby will be here in like four months which is really exciting but kind of like kind of freaks me out a little bit because <laughs> that's that goes by so fast like so fast. we're already in january like it goes by really fast and so um i'm really hoping just to hang out with everybody and be able to really enjoy myself one last shebang before we stay up here for a while and now for the bump. So that is it for today's video. As always, if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Tlaxcomanti for watching and I'll talk to y'all later.